live from Austin. As it cools down, everyone's thoughts turn to love and tacos. And you know it's going to be a great night. Now, scooch up to your computer because here are your hosts, Brian Rushwood and Justin Robert Young. I'm a bird, I'm a bird, I'm a bird. What's the word? What are you? I don't understand. What is that dance you're doing? I'm a bird, that's why I'm flapping these arms, flapping these arms. I don't know what you're doing. It <laughs> definitely disarms my heart. Justin, you're my co-host, baby. You should respond. We're starting the show. <laughs> Hi! You usually have to leave space for me to respond. <laughs> well, that, that, that was kind of good. Yeah. yeah. Is that a bird thing? Yeah. No, I'm doing bird things now. <laughs> like uh, flying around and eating off the floor and shitting? Uh, uh, we, uh, two out of three, yeah. Which two? Eating off the ground and shitting. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, just screaming at my kids, going, ah! Yeah, that's a good one. Classic. Yeah. Had a Classic. lot of kids. Uh, had, uh, you had ki- a lot of kids? Uh, the kids have been around. They have. Yeah. You've had one of them back in, back in town. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, she's really good at doing the singing crooner bit, or the driving crooner bit. The, uh... Explain, yeah, explain for an audio audience what the driving crooner bit is. Uh, basically, you have to trick somebody into paying attention to something else. You have else. to watch, uh, I think you should leave. Yeah. In the reference. Season three. <laughs> yes. Uh, 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 wherein there is a sketch yes. that somebody has a, a a sticker of a hat and a sticker of a cigar right. on their window. And so when they stick their head exactly sideways and somebody's driving by them, right. they can flare out their fingers and it looks like they are wearing a hat and smoking a cigar. Yeah, correct. And you, you have to like comically go you're gnawing on the cigar. Yeah. yeah. And and uh, there's been like a soft negotiation among the family about what counts because like you can't So just... this became a bit mm-hmm. where yes, people needed to like the circle game. Yes. Before that became white supremacy. Correct. Uh uh you had to catch people looking at it before they realized what they were looking at. Right. Is and and yes. Okay. Uh, uh, suffice to say, there might have been a time that I caught one of my daughters trying to teach our Weimar on her how to do <laughs> the driving crooner bit. How'd that go? <laughs> uh, there were, it's in progress. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> but but uh but the point is uh uh boy is penny really into it uh, uh and and you have to like like correct me like okay points not points for this reason for that reason that kind of thing and like she takes it seriously i mean i don't know how seriously she's taking it but it's constant it's constant <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes yes a hundred percent well, I know it was constant because she tried to hit you a couple times when we were at dinner last night before we went to the Auntie Donna show. Uh, did did you get caught? I'm not. I'm conscientiously objecting from your weird <laughs> driving crooner pit. <laughs> Explain why. No, Annalise I'm not gonna. I'm not doing, doing this. I'm not doing it. No. 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 Mm-hmm. No. I'm not into it. No, that's your family. God, no, you can't just. <laughs> I have to look at you for the show. Don't, you can't okay, just start right, doing right, fine, it. Fine, 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 fine. No, we were doing. Uh, uh, both your wife and your daughter were trying to catch you at dinner. Yes, because we were out for the Auntie Donna show last night. Uh by the way, fantastic show. Great show. Super good show. Awesome. We got to see the boys. Yeah. Afterward, and by the way, uh, uh, Bryce, do we have those cities? Uh, New what? York. Boston, oh, Toronto, Seattle. <laughs> I heard Show us them cities. No, 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 no. You thought I said titties? What up? Yes. <laughs> Do we have it did them not titties? Have, it did not at all phase me to be asked, Bryce, where are the titties? <laughs> where are them titties? <laughs> Uh, filing that away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got uh, 
Uh, so they were here in Austin. They're in Boston in a few days. They're in New York. They're in Toronto, Chicago, Seattle, Vancouver, San Fran, and Los Angeles at the end of the month. Uh, go see them. The show is fucking amazing. You, you're, you're, you're doing this. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking like, about. Like, I have to look at you for the show. Like, I, uh, it's not an achievement. <laughs> like, I'm not going to zone out looking at other people. Like, like you're my co-host on the show. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, it's so, two hours of <laughs> looking at each other. Uh, I cannot believe. I, has it been four years since we saw Auntie Donna live? If not more. Yeah. Like, I think it was 2019. Was the last time, and I, I believe Waffleophagus was the king at the end of it, or something. Oh yeah, they they picked him for something. They had they had him on stage, well, and I he had not, a I mouthful of blood. At, I was not at the Austin show. I probably went to the San Francisco oh. show of that tour because I used to live there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what did you think of this show? Amazing. No, they're they're uh, uh, number one. Amazing that they uh, uh, had the Netflix show. This is the first time they've toured since then. And so uh, the, the tour has sold exceptionally well. And then also rightfully so. Coffee Cafe. But in America, you know, nobody, nobody knows yeah. what that is except for us, which I think you should VPN to go illegally watch Coffee Cafe. But, but <laughs> for everybody else, that's something that they wouldn't say. Uh, no, it was fucking great. They're They're... They're awesome. They're so comfortable with their material. There's a lot of classic bits. There's a lot of new stuff that was exceptionally hilarious. Uh, I will say we got a chance to go see the boys Ooh. backstage. Uh, boy, are they tired. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and not in a bad way, but just in the, oh, you're in the middle of being awesome all the time, 24-7, all the time. I think they are at the point where they can see the end of the tour, but they also know how far away they are from the end of the tour. And they probably have the biggest, um, I mean, like from where we saw them in Austin, they have their biggest shows in America coming up. They've got Boston, New York, LA mm -hmm. coming up and LA is going to be at the very, very end. Uh, uh, so with all that entails for an entertainment act, like that that's going to be at the end. And so I think that they are they are seeing the full picture. That would be my 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 guess, pop psychology reading into the vacant stare that they were all giving last night. Can 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 we break down some of our favorite moments? Because for me, like you walk in and they have this entire beautiful backdrop that normally they don't have normally it's a fairly spare set that they perform on on stage but yes. in this case they have this like a it's called the dead cat tour there's a cat magical dead cat uh, magical dead cat uh, there there's this cat and beneath the cat's face is a giant qr code and so you know while you're waiting for the show to begin uh you scan Brett, the qr code Brett, are you are you, are you familiar with uh, uh, QR codes? Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> have you heard about these? Have you seen these? Uh, yeah. <laughs> have you heard of this? this QR code. QR you code? ever heard it? You ever heard of it? What so you, you take out you take out your phone and, and all of a sudden a little uh, yellow thing it pops up right below it. <laughs> There's a giant QR code on the center of the stage. Yes. What do you think happens when you pull out your phone and click on the QR code? I would think that. Probably it makes it your phone make a noise or do something like that. That was what I thought it would be to make it like turn it up to maximum volume so it could be like, hey, I'm looking at this thing. Yeah. What if it was just like a Google Doc that said F U K U? <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. That's that QR code is on stage for like half of the show. Most of the <laughs> show. <laughs> Most of the show. And they don't say yeah. anything. And Nothing. they don't address it. Just it. Says, never fuck acknowledge you. it. It is a it is a screen grab of a notepad that oh, says notepad. fuck you. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Uh yeah, no, I, I I got strong we've been on tour a long time vibes. <laughs> <laughs> uh but they were great. And also they they sent so much love and support to the Diamond Club. Uh, uh, they, they said extraordinarily complimentary things, especially the first few tours that they did of America. How much support 
Diamond Club gave to them. So if there's anybody listening to this, uh, uh, no, we are inextricably linked with Auntie Donna uh, uh, from, from from both perspectives in terms of them uh, coming into America. So uh, it was it was amazing to see them. They are at the top of their fucking game, and I cannot wait to see them. Again. Yeah, I, I I I can't dispute any of that. It it, it was just amazing. Bryce, do you have topics? I do. Let's get a topic. Practice eclipse. <laughs> So uh, there's going to be another eclipse, a secret eclipse before the eclipse. Shh. Sorry, I'm yeah. Shh. I'm sorry, bro. I, I, hey, man. Are you, are you, are you, are you cool? Are you cool? Yeah. No, no. I just, I, I just see, I just see you're wearing a morning brown hat. Oh yeah, you know because uh, I'm gonna go behind another thing. Mm. To prove that I'm into the eclipse. Okay, all right. Well, you know. so there's an eclipse on Saturday, huh? Well, it's, it's a special kind of eclipse. Isn't what it? kind of eclipse? It's an annular eclipse. What? So it happens once a year? No. Wait. Probably uh, that's not a great word for it. It's uh, it's the kind of eclipse where it's it's in, a... it's, in it's in the butt. <laughs> Is that why it's annular? Yep. There's two kinds of eclipses about to happen. Okay. Uh, one it, in the butt <laughs> and one in the sky. In the pink. Sorry. <laughs> uh, and it's an, a shocker. An annular eclipse is when uh, the moon totally occludes the sun. Uh, uh, unfortunately, it's too far away. And so it uh, creates... Mm, Man, man, you you brought up butt stuff. Uh, uh, it's uh, it leaves a ring of fire. Hell yeah! <laughs> uh, that's gonna happen on Saturday, and so uh, this is sort of a practice run because there is a, a a big totality eclipse that happens in May, right? So that's why this is a practice eclipse or April. Yes. Is it April? Yes. April 8th is... Don't, I'm not trying to fucking uh, fool people. Uh, like, is he supposed uh, to know that, na- that yeah. date off the top of his head? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, April 8th will be like uh, uh, the big Founder's Day eclipse. Yes. But uh, uh, that'll be a total eclipse. But we have an annular eclipse happening. And we are like Austin is... If you look at the map, we are in the intersection. We're the only one who gets two eclipses in eight months of each other. It's going to be amazing. So uh, uh, that's this Saturday. So uh, if anybody would like to come join us, it's going to be a very low-key. At HQ. It's going to be a very low-key affair. There is no event. There is no entertainment. There is no food. There is no beverage. Correct. But... There is fellowship. Correct. If one would like to totally roll up with their own shit and come watch the eclipse. And when is it? Uh, uh, this, this Saturday. Saturday this at, Saturday at, at noon. Is that right? I think 1155. Yeah, I, I think believe. we're having folks arrive around 11. Uh, sure. Uh, close enough. Yeah. The, the eclipse itself starts around 1030 and it ends around 130. Peak is 11.55 to noon. So. Okay, yeah, but, but, but just keep in mind, this is super low-key. Yeah. We're, we're talking hot dogs and yeah. hamburgers. Talking and Tom Hiddleston. And uh, Tom Hiddleston will be that here. that low-key. Yeah. And if you do want to come, yeah. I sure would love to know. Uh, yeah, uh, please let <laughs> Heads up Annalisa know. To me. <laughs> how, how should they do that, Annalisa? Uh, you can do it through the Discord. I'm in there. Um, I'm in a lot of the Discords. Around if you here. are right. showing up, you don't need to talk to Annalisa because you are not organizing. You're bringing your own shit. That's what's happening if you are hearing about this for the first time. Enough about you guys. Let's talk about me. So okay, good. Uh, <laughs> are you going to be at the eclipse? Hey, I'm you, not. Be, uh, why would you not? What? I'm fucking it's a not. It's fucking eclipse. What? Here. So you are here in Austin. I know. I am. Here's the problem. I was supposed to have my family out here. A couple, I guess, a month and change ago. Uh, and then it got scuttled. It was supposed to be my brother, my mom, and my brother's two kids. Two young kids. My niece and my nephew. Niece got sick, so they couldn't come out. And so they rescheduled. And they rescheduled for this weekend. Because apparently there's some, like, day off for the kids on, on, on the next Monday. 
But the problem is, is that the flights they scheduled literally land them in Austin not but 20 minutes before the fucking peak of this eclipse. Oh, man. So I have to go to the airport because we have two car seats that we're going to that, that we have in our car so these tiny little children can get in. But there's no way we're going to be able to get them out of the airport. There's two fucking kids. No way that they're going to be able to get off the plane, out of the airport, and then we drive. And also, we can't risk being halfway between where we're supposed to go. And then we're like, oh, everybody look out the window and look at the eclipse. No, no, no. We got to be in a place. And so I got to watch this eclipse, hopefully, from the roof of a parking garage at the Austin airport. Uh, that makes total sense because, as we all know, it's not possible to change flights. You should. All right, look. You should know better than anybody. <laughs> Sorry. With kids, I believe this is uh, if they hear it. And this is fucked up. I believe we're at six and three. Yeah. You want to, and also my mom. Like, 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 you want to go ahead and, and uh, flippantly, like, ah, two hours this way, two hours that way, with four tickets that are all on points? This is the face of a man who stepped in it. Yep. This is when getting real gets wrong. I withdraw my question. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not getting changed. Here's the funny part, though. My mom texts me. She says, look. I've purchased sunglasses for the eclipse. And I need you to promise me, my eldest son, a 40-year-old fucking man, can you please wear these glasses? I don't want to set a bad example for the children. I, but you're going to show... Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, Justin, wear the sunglasses. Wow. She doesn't want me, a 40-year-old man, to set a bad example by looking directly in to an eclipse. I, I mean, that that tracks. I, I don't want you to look. Do you? I No, hold on. Do you believe that I would do that? You believe. <laughs> wow. Now I'm learning something about myself. Yep. Now I'm learning something Where? about myself that I give off. I give, as the kids say, irresponsibly looking into an eclipse. For what reason? For what, for what treasure would I be looking directly into an eclipse without sunglasses? I mean, if you do it right, it'll be with you forever. Yeah. What with the burning on your retinas and... Yeah. Oh, no, I get the joke, yes. But you think that of me? I mean, I may have looked directly into the sun. During an eclipse? Not even. <laughs> Just <laughs> stared at the sun once. That wasn't great. <laughs> Don't recommend it. But you think Justin and you, will. And you, see, and you see part of yourself and me that I would do that. Uh, so much so, and also make such a scene about it that my uh, 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 children, uh, uh, nephew and niece, would be like, oh my god, cool Uncle Justin's doing it. We need to do it too and rip off their glasses so they can look directly into the sun. I, 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 all right, can, can, can we all confess the times that we've looked directly into the sun? As a, If we as want a to totally start a new conversation, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, wait, 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 wait. I may have. <laughs> so he's taking the road. No, 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 no. Uh, okay, uh, it's crazy. Your mom's crazy. You would never do that. I, however, definitely did. Uh, okay. Yes, we can talk about you. Go ahead. No, no, no. Yeah, I, I, go. I looked at the sun. That's it. When? Uh, it was clear. Was there a story? It was cloudy, and I thought that holding up a CD and I could see through the CD and look at the sun, I was like, oh, look at me. I figured something out. And I found out later, no, I was definitely burning my retinas. So you held up, like, like how a compact, opaque yeah. was the CD? 
uh, I don't know, it, it was comfortable to look at. I didn't realize that like UV rays were burning holes in my retina at yeah. the time. Yeah. Do you still have fucked up eyes? Uh, or did that heal? I, I don't even know if it heals. I, I don't think it does. I think your brain just gets really good at photoshopping out all those flaws. Oh, so, so it's so, like so, permanent so, damage. Yeah. It, it, it's sort of like a, a, sometimes you see floaters, but most sure. of the time yeah, you yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, They're always there. It's just your exactly. brain is good at yeah. photoshopping. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm not the hero. How old? Oh. Whole, whole life, my friend. <laughs> no, 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 no. What do you no, think? How, how old were you when you did this story? Which time? Uh, you've recent. done it a lot. Wow. Yeah. You've done it multiple times? I, I'm going to say from like second grade up until graduating high school. I thought then, I was then, clever. No, so you thought that this was a thing that was blocking it? Yeah. But in terms of, of I am, reality, I am you certain were not. that I have permanently damaged my eyes. Yes. Yeah. Did you recommend it to other people? Did you like? Were you an expert saying, "Hey, by the way, did you know you could do this?" I I was a teenager. Yes. Uh, explaining like, well, I don't see what the big deal. How is. many other people's eyes do you think you fucked up? Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> twelve eyes or twelve people? Because otherwise, it'd 24. be. 24 eyes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, I think, I think I'm You're like a serial killer for eyes. Nope. Yeah. I mean, technically, I'm, I, was, uh, 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 I, I was like the familiar of the sun. Yeah. <laughs> Help the sun kill, kill a lot of eyes. Yeah. I was like the Renfield for the sun. I was like, yeah, I can get them <laughs> to look at you, and then you can melt their eyes. Yeah. Yeah. That was better than my story. Bryce, next no, topic. God damn it. <laughs> Oh no, Cleo! I got a thing for you guys. I'd like uh, everyone to go and round just really quickly. This is an easy one. Uh, do me a favor, and uh, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a line, and everybody just give me a. Just say it. Just say it. Okay. Okay. E sure. Easy and yeah, yeah, yeah. sounds yeah. easy and consequence free. Yeah. The line is. Oh no, Cleo! The condensation. Let's start with Justin. Oh no, Cleo, the condensation. Oh no, Cleo, the condensation. Okay, Brian. Oh no, Cleo, the condensation. Oh no, Cleo, the condensation. Mm, mm, mm. Brett, Brett, you know, uh, expert speaker. Oh no, Cleo, the condensation. Oh no, Cleo, the condensation. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, what if, uh, uh, you know, not everyone can do that challenge so easily, like, uh, <laughs> like at Comfy Daddy on TikTok. Oh, where's the audio? Play the audio. It's another con. Another con. Oh, no, it's not going to play oh. audio because I was smart and didn't hit a button. Uh, let's all take a look at him, though. Look at him. Oh, oh. it's like looking into he, the yeah, sun. Yeah, he has, he has a very smart mustache. Uh, Bryce, are, are, is that mustache coming back? Because because Taylor Swift's football boyfriend has it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, th does that signify that we're done with defund the police? That the cop mustache is coming back? <laughs> we're retaking the cop mustache. Is that it? Is yep. that like like the, the the pendulum has swung back, yeah. and now the like we're so into the police that we're putting in the mustache. That's right. It's a it's a social worker mustache now. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Now we've actually got the clip. I've been trying for the last forty minutes to say these words, but that sounding like the meme strand accent, and I can't. And I can't. Oh, nor, oh, no, Cleo, oh, nor, oh, no, Cleo, the comments, <clears throat> oh, no, Cleo, the conduct, <laughs> oh, nor, <laughs> oh, no, Cleo, <clears throat> the conduct, the conversation. <laughs> Oh, Nora. <laughs> oh, Nora. <laughs> uh, 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 so this, this is an Australian is man trying to say, oh, no, Cleo, the condensation. But uh, uh, the, the, the Australians have a, have a, 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 a nerve. They, 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 they throw in extra a R's nerve. in there. Yeah. Nerve. I mean, they, 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 they don't call each other currents. 
No, that one they get right. Yeah, <laughs> because they care about it. <laughs> Wait, I, they I, care. I, they care to get that one right. I. But no. No. Oh no. Oh no. I, 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 I don't know if I believe this. I don't think they put R's in things. Do Australians put R's in things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. It's not like he says, "Oh no, that's no a uh, no." Uh, this is our no. Like, like, like that's not a thing. Well, uh, uh, do your best Australian accent. Okay, give me give me words. Um. Uh. uh oh no, Cleo, uh, the condensation. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Uh. Our no. Clear the condensation. <laughs> is that is is that a thing that they put R's? In no, the no, no, no. Give me, give me another. They, 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 I have to work up to that. I have shrimp, to work up to that. Shrimp on the Barbie. Uh, shrimp on the Barbie. Uh, uh, throw another shrimp on the Barbie. It's yeah. me. I'm Australian. Hey, it's Foster's Australian for beer. Oh, I see you played Nike yeah. Spoonie before. Yeah, Outback. No rules, just right. Oh, what a blooming onion. <laughs> Good day. Uh, 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 hello, welcome to Virgin Airlines. Uh, please pay attention to your seatbelts. Like, like there's, there's no R's in any of that. No, but I think that there's something in the background of it that obviously is more pronounced to them. And, all, and we're doing an impression of them saying shit, but our base language doesn't have it. So we're obviously going to erase them when we say it, and probably when we hear it. I feel like we should go to an expert of linguistics, uh, somebody who's good at accents. I've been trying for the last 40 minutes to say these words, but that's not like that. Just like that. Sure, just like that. <laughs> Wait, go on. Just like that. I don't know. What? Why do you sell? So wait, hold on. But I is, don't is, know. He, is he Australian or is he British? He's Australian. He's, He's Australian. Australian. You can't close your mouth all the way if you're doing Australian. Yeah. Oh, no. Their mouth it's is very, always open. It's very front of the mouth. And, when, and then, except when you have the R's. But see, then that's That's Irish. like Irish. That's yeah. Irish. But it's like, like no is nor. 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 No. That's what I'm hearing. Uh, you know. Nar. 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 Oh, no. You know, you yeah. were in Australia. When somebody, when you ask, like, hey, can I please have uh, an entire bottle of wine after last call? You just heard the bartender go, no. Well, actually, I mean, it was Australia, so he said yes. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, he did. He said also. Oh, you're a right con, ain't you? Oh, Here yeah, we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God, if only there were Australians we could call right Yeah, now. I know, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, they do have an off night. But <laughs> you, you, can, you can ring them up. I think uh, the phenomenon is called an intrusive R. Mm. There Linking. we go. I, I don't... Uh, Look that up. It's intrusive. real. I watch a lot of Australian sitcoms and TV shows. I mean, sitcoms. It's, it's, yeah, it's <laughs> Sitcarb. Yeah. Sitcoms. And, and, and is there an <laughs> intrusive R? What? Oh no. oh no! Oh no! No no! That actually, I do. I I I, I do no. know that. I do recognize that. Like oh no! But I always heard that as a trailing O and not an R. But uh, when 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 you say it, it does. Now that we know that this mustachioid, handsome Australian man that Bryce <laughs> randomly found, uh uh yeah, mustachioid, <laughs> mustachioid. That 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 he had a problem with it. That makes sense. Don't actually Nor make a oh. Wallace and Gromit face, but think like you are. Think like you are. That's my favorite uh, Dove soap uh, 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 tagline. Think, think, think like you are. Uh, uh, Is it the Bryce, or the uh, 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 Zero out of ten. How much of a catch this guy for you? Oh, this guy? Yeah, I mean, because I, I, my guess is it's eleven. Like, like that, that this is a very, this is in the Bryce zone. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. With the, with the accent, with the accent. He can't say anything. Listen to this. It's so cute. No. I think. He doesn't, oh, no. He doesn't know. He, he can't speak. It's great. I love it. <laughs> Bryce likes his men barely literate. <laughs> Next topic. 
<laughs> I'm really on the edge of whether or not we should try to order a pizza from Australia right now. I, I, I just want to know. Do we just want to prank call Australia and see how much the intrusive R is really a thing? Kind of. All right. Is that bad? Everybody throw Australian numbers in the chat. <laughs> yeah. Let's pick one. Yeah. you know. Let's pick one. Uh. Welcome to Pizza Hut. Heart. <laughs> what was that? Brett, can you give us that again? That was heart. horrible. No. <laughs> Welcome to Pizza Absolutely Heart. Absolutely. Welcome to Pizza Heart. I'm heart. Steve. <laughs> can I dig your order? I Darwin. Australian Dominars. Yeah, no, I, 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 I guess I do see oh, it now. Oh, no. No, because oh, 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 no is the one that unlocked it for oh, me. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. The intrusive but again, R. like, 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 like it, 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 it seemed to me like smaller and smaller O's, but now that you hear it, you're like, oh no, there's an R there. If you'd watched McLeod's daughters, you would hear it all the time. If I watch McLeod's daughters, if there's a fucking dime for every time I've heard that, I'd have one fucking dime from <laughs> Annalisa because I've never heard of that show before. I've heard of two shows that have ever aired in Australia Auntie Donna's Coffee Cafe. <laughs> And neighbors, and that's it. Na neighbors. 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 Oh, you think it goes both ways? Yeah. Like Chinese people with L's and R's? Ah, uh, you said it, not me. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay. Too real? Uh, I, I don't know. Bryce I, wanted to I, change I, the topic I, I, two I, minutes I, ago when I <laughs> intrusively questioned his taste in men. Well, I no. tried to do it, and I, I fucked up hitting the sound cue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, He's like, hey, I'm for the record, you need to listen to the pre-show because we told you then it was going to be a bad show. <laughs> <laughs> we did, we I didn't believe him. Then. I didn't believe we him. We told you then it was going to be a bad show. It's going to be fine. Are we, are, are we calling Australia or no? There's a number. I've posted a number in oh, there's on the, number. the screen here. Uh, oh, if, yeah, where's your phone? If you know how Call to Australia. dial this, you are welcome to do so. Yeah. Because I don't. There doesn't seem. it doesn't seem like it's the right number of numbers. Siri, call. I'm going to mute that, so that's just... <laughs> the funniest part about it is that he left yelling the number into the mic, not because he was yelling into the mic, but because he couldn't see the number <laughs> and needed to because get he was close looking to the, the screen. Sun. That's why. I mean, exactly. All that sun gazing fucked you up. We paid a price. All right, here we go. Who am I calling, by like the way? Icarus. You were calling uh, Domino's Moss and Act. Like, like, uh, like Icarus going into the sun with eyes of wax. <laughs> oh, I hope you don't need an address. Not be completed as dialed. Please check the number. In Did you do the international, oh. the international country code? Oh. Is it zero for Australia? It's like zero, zero, one, I believe, is the thing you have to type before any of that. All right. Oh, it's six one. Six one is in the international code for Australia. Got it. So okay. I'm dialing six one, and then all and then the rest. All of this, yeah. Here, all of okay. Stuff. All right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Bryce is now making it boomer size. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you very much. It is so large that they cannot see any of the chat. Nope. <laughs> yep. Yep. Hey, gift a sub right now. You can be number one today. Here, twitch.tv slash night attack. I don't think I wrote it right. Okay. All right. Gonna try it again. All right. Well, here but, we uh, go. Uh, uh, we got to get a pepperoni pizza. Yep. And we need <laughs> what, to deliver it. What? What is the prefix again? <laughs> six one. Okay. All right. All right. There, we know, got this. Just, that's six and minutes. we got this. Okay. There we go. Hey, I just moved here from Texas. How's it going? <laughs> Domino's Pizza. You got any barbecue pizzas for me? <laughs> okay. uh, what? What words? Wait, Word. you call from Dripping no. Springs? Somebody uh, do me a favor and Google whether or not this is illegal in Australia <laughs> like it is in America. Call cannot be completed as dialed. No. Oh, oh, oh well. Oh. Good attempt, everyone, but it was a bad show, so maybe that makes sense. <laughs> we got, no, no, I think it's like you have to do 001 before the country code. Okay. All right. Did, yeah. <laughs> Might as well try one more time. <laughs> Next topic. Brian, <laughs> Brian's going to do it. I'll do the topic regardless of what it is, and yep. Brian will continue to try and dial it. Yep. Me. All right. Next topic. Things to do in the cold. I need the number again. <laughs> yeah, just unhighlight it. There we go. Okay. Friends, here in Austin, Texas, it is currently a crisp. <clears throat> 
and it's not even showing me the weather. That's hilarious. 71 degrees Fahrenheit. 71 degrees. Beautiful. And, 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 and by the way, it is not... Your call cannot be completed as time. God damn it. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Well. It's crisp. They didn't want us. They knew that we were calling. They it's closed down all the phone lines. Yeah, I know. It was awesome. Uh, right there in, in Parliament, mm -hmm. the Aussies were just... Oh, no. Oh, no. Shut down the oh, phone. No. Don't answer them. They're Texans. Are they pirates? Uh, isn't ours pirates? Does that make sense? What, uh, with an A, like, like, yar. Yeah, but they're with an O. Arr. Your. <laughs> Maybe they are. Go back to the mustachioid man. Oh, what was it? I've been the, trying oh. for the last 40 minutes to say these words, but that's sounding like a meme strand accent, and I can't, and I can't. Oh, no. Oh, no. Clear. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Clear. Clear. The condens. The condensation. No. Clear. The condens. <laughs> Oh, nor. I love so cute. Oh, no. <laughs> like the little red nail. <laughs> Just hear the purity of Bryce's giggle. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's true uh -huh. love. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's not, let's not get. True lore. Yeah, true lore. Oh, uh, 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 let, let's not go there. He's smitten. Yeah. The boy's the boy's smitten. All right. Things to do in the cold. Number one, cover your toes. Mm -hmm. They've been out all fucking summer. Yep. Right? Uh, 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 yeah, uh, uh, no. Do you not like to cover your toes uh, in, in the cold? Do you like your toes out? I do like my toes In 50-degree weather? I, uh, yeah, uh, yes. You're, you're, Outside? Yours. Because you've got, like, actual brush out here. You're walking out in the brush in, in flip-flops in 50-degree weather? Actually, if, if we're being real, ever Let's since... Let's be fucking raw. raw. <laughs> ever, ever, ever since a rattlesnake tried to bite Bonnie, uh, I've, I've worn shoes. <laughs> I used to be a So you have been man. covering yeah. your toes. Yeah. Even during the summer. Yep. When those little tootsies are getting heated uh, up. Them dogs are cuddled up. Yep. Steaming. Uh, Sweating. Yep. Just, P pigs in a blanket. Just dropping. Just dropping. Dro dro just dropping dropping them dogs. Like, yeah. uh, like, 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 marinating. Uh, uh, check. Uh, uh, what do they call pigs in a blanket? Like a subret stand. Kalachi. 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 A bunch of kalachi. I'm check. It's different. I, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. So Brian, what do you like to do when it's cold? Uh, <laughs> wear shorts. Did somebody call the Dominoes? Are they <laughs> calling back? So we had a. No, we're good. <laughs> Brian, what do you like to do when it's cold? You uh, love the cold. This is uh, this topic is built for you. What do you like now that it's cold, buddy? Come on! I finally get to take Joy out on walks. Oh, like, that's the best. You is, get to take your dog for every a walk. Morning. Yeah, yeah. And you were not doing that during the summer because it's no. too fucking hot. It's too fucking hot. Too fucking hot. <laughs> like when you wake up and the sun's not even out and it's still seventy-five degrees. It's Hell like yeah. uh, no, 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 no. Out. Sorry, yeah. dog. What about you? What do you what do you like? To I do? already did the toe thing. Uh, uh, Brett, yes. Uh, I what like, do you like to do when it's cold? I like <laughs> I like to put. We I told you we're it back. was going to be a bad we're show. We're back. We're back to feet again. I like to put my cold feet on the back of Ek's legs. That's what I like to do. Like like as an attack? No, we're snuggling in the bed, and then I just put my feet on her. And uh, she and likes it. Right. No, oh, okay, she, so she uh, hates you. So it you is an attack. This is not about attack. her. No, this no, is about me. He said, like an attack, and you said, no. no. And then I said, and she likes it. You said, no, she hates it. <laughs> so it is an attack. I mean, maybe. Has she ever said, oh, sweetie, my calves are too warm? Will you please place your ice cold toes upon them? No. <laughs> no. 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 Oh, but what God. she does say is, ah! And then she giggles, and it's funny. Bryce, what do you like to do when it's cold? When it's cold, uh, 
Ooh, that's a good question. And you posed it to me like an hour ago. So I had plenty of time to think about it. (laughs) (laughs) Which is why I'm doing all this build up into what am I? What's happening? No, this is the best best reality. (laughs) This is like, does no one give a shit? Like, (laughs) it's a bad show. Like, I mean, what's what's the point? We're canceling the pre show. (laughs) We're canceling it. It's actively making the show worse. I got one. Okay, I like, I gotta. I, <laughs> guys, if we cancel the pre show meeting, I could drink three drinks before. <laughs> no, that's not helpful. We're up to two. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to eventually just get up to five and not do the show. <laughs> just not even show up. I, you know, I got a weighted blanket that I like, but it was too hot. It was too hot. I would put it on the bed and then I'd just sweat all day. So uh, having some cold and getting to snuggle up, that'll be pretty good. Yeah, that's a good one. Thanks. More blankets. Oh. I've added more blankets yeah. to my repertoire. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 okay. Normally, I'm sweating like a hooker in church under these fuckers. Oh, my God. I, I, wake, I, I wake up, and it's like I was in a fucking sauna. No, just a, just a comforter. Yep. Not my wife. She's down there the whole fucking time. You, you cannot heat that fucker up enough for her. I don't know what's going on, but me? Drenched. Like I'm out of a pool. How much longer? I'm fucking Greg Luganus when I fucking wake up at <laughs> seven o'clock in the morning. How much longer are you gonna sleep in the same bed with your wife? <laughs> <laughs> Please. Please cut that out. <laughs> 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 All right, that is the most confident somebody can tell on themselves. <laughs> I'm just saying, I live in a refrigerator and it's rad. <laughs> It's like Fonzie came out <laughs> and just said, so, what did everybody else, uh, their dick stop getting hard? <laughs> <laughs> Is it? <laughs> yes! What? Mr. Yes! It's the exact same thing. No, 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 no. Like, like uh, my, my, my wife is... I didn't it, mean it like that. Wait. No! Uh, <laughs> My wife is inhuman and is willing to sleep at four degrees warmer than I am. It's, yeah. it's monstrous, and uh, I won't stand for it. We don't, we don't have a problem with the temperature in the room. She just sleeps under more things than I do. So I can, like, there's an initial, all right, here's how it goes. <laughs> there's an, uh, an initial, like, Spoon situation. Yeah. Right? You want to come here? You want to be yeah. my wife? The yeah. spoon, spoon stitch. Okay. So there's an initial, like, yeah, so yeah, we're, we're yeah. on the bed, right? And I sneak up and I grab, yeah, and I grab a titty. Yeah, I'm, I'm grabbing a titty. Yeah, sure. Right? Yeah, sure. And then yeah. a, at a certain point, yeah. I, as soon as I realize I've fallen asleep, yeah. I separate and sure. I roll. Sure. So you stay there. Okay. All right. And I roll. Oh. And so now I'm here. And at that point, I can move the blanket. Sure. And I can get to my right blanket density. Mm. Must be nice. What? Because my version. Yeah. Very close to that. Where do you want me? Uh. Well, <laughs> I want I want you to be separate. With your own light blanket while I have 75 blankets on me, and then I want you to be about to fall asleep, and you're at that that cusp of not knowing if you're asleep or not. Okay. Uh, and then yeah. allow me to disabuse you of that question. Ah! <laughs> you just smack. You just smack her. You just. Oh no. Oh no no no. I'm Justin in this scenario. Oh. <laughs> because because I snore. And so yeah. I oh, don't yeah. ever perceive falling asleep. Oh, yeah. I just know mm. that just as I'm about to fall asleep, no. I get hit. Gotcha. So I also snore, and my wife is also annoyed, uh, but she mostly is focused on trying to figure out a way to get to sleep before I do, yep. which is nearly impossible because I fall asleep fucking immediately. You're the fast sleeper. We always oh, say it. Oh boy. 
Like, there are many things in life for which you either in the D&D character sheet of life, you are either strong or weak at. Right. I have realized that something that I did not think was a particular skill, the ability to fall asleep fast. The older I get, the more I realize if I could sell it, I could probably be rich for life. Yes. Like, there are very, very rich people in the world. There's a sultan somewhere who would pay me billions of dollars for the ability to fall asleep as fast as I do. Not even a sultan. Maybe a mid-level YouTuber <laughs> <laughs> would pay you so much money for your secret. Uh, but wait, so so you're saying that, like, she's a worse sleeper than you because she's not going to sleep or she's woken up because you snore so loud? Uh, yes. Uh, she, she has no problem going to sleep. However, she knows that when the dogs start barking, it'll be her that who, who has to get up and deal with it, right? Uh, In the morning. And, yeah, exactly. And, and I tend to go to sleep later, and I like it four degrees colder than she likes it, uh, and I snore. I mean, there's a lot of very, like, if I what, could, you are, what, what, I would what? crawl into a freezer and close the door and, and go into a cryogenic sleep for, what for you eight are, hours. What you are doing is explaining all the reasons for which you guys sleep in different rooms. Yes. Because of the different schedule and, 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 and the temperature difference. Yes. I will say that uh, uh, I have been married long enough to understand that that is not necessarily a a, a, a a world in which I cannot see myself living. <laughs> like there is a point for which sleep matters so fucking much that it's like, if I can keep the peace, I will do it. Even if it means sleeping in another room. Yeah. And also it's like, there is a little bit of tension that goes in. Like sometimes I'll be up a little bit later, you know, maybe I'll be out, friend, <laughs> you know, I want to watch wrestling after I come back from the bar, so I'll go out to the port, especially now that it's nice, bringing it back to the theme, mm -hmm. it's cold, so <laughs> I can sit out there with a nice stick and watch some wrestling, and then all of a sudden I want to go back, but my wife is asleep, and so there's, you know... It's a little tiptoes. Going back to Brett's thing, I don't yeah. want to be a dickhead and fucking immediately put ice cold hands. You're missing out. Like, because that will fucking wake her up immediately, and I do not want to deal with that. Are <laughs> are you like the sleep hamburglar at this point? I am. Yeah. <laughs> no, I do a little bit of like sneaky sleep, like like, and I'm 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 like taking off my like like ooh like especially because I have layers because it's cold outside. You're, and I'm wh slowly, you're whispering, rubble, rubble, rubble. Like, <laughs> like, oh no, right? I want to wake her up. You're carefully uh, unloading your canvas sack bag of stolen goodies. Exactly. It's just like, oh no, but I need to unload my bag of bells. <laughs> <laughs> ding, uh, ding, oh dear. And so like, I'll get in the bed and then I'll try it. Like, it's like a game of operation. <laughs> Where like I just know that my cold ass body is like if any part of me touches her, yeah. it's, it's a problem. And by the way, I also have to avoid her touching me because every once in a while she'll do the reflexive like foot, uh. like 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 stick out, and I have to move my like like foot and arm like up to make sure that she does not hit it because she is doing it by instinct but if she actually hits the fucking iceberg that i am because i was outside <laughs> then i know she's gonna wake up immediately and be like huh, 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 what what <laughs> what huh so anyway <laughs> my life's hard <laughs> price next topic all right begley's book <laughs> oh shit uh quick Shouts out, I'm halfway through a book. Uh, make some noise if you guys know who Ed Begley Jr. is. Woo! Woo! 
So uh, uh, at some point, we uh, 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 became friends on Twitter and exchanged DMs, um, and uh, I saw... You're the... friends with Ed Begley Jr.? Apparently so. It's pretty rad. He's great. You sound when surprised. When did you first... Uh, actually, no, I think that you've been on the show. You've mentioned randomly, like... The, the, there was the point in which you were verified when verified meant something on Twitter. Right. And you were like, oh, shit, I can just DM people and verified people will understand that it's what a cool thing. We're in the club, in, in the verified club. And like you DM'd like Logan Paul after the Suicide Forest shit and like yep. uh, all that. And one of those people was Ed Begley Jr., yeah, and and so I I saw that he was talking about his memoir, and I'm like, hey man, uh, I, I I'd love to read it and help you promote it, uh, and he sent it and he wrote a very kind thing on the front, uh, and uh, I'll be damned if uh, Ed Begley Jr. I've only known him ever since I was a kid as the the hippie environmentalist guy, yes, the guy from Saint Elsewhere, the guy who did a, a cameo on The Simpsons, the guy who was in uh, uh, Arrested Development, mm -hmm. uh, the, the and, and also famously actually practiced what he preached when it came to environmentalism. Like, he was like, not like, "Hey, everybody, stop burning fossil fuels!" Takes off in their private jet. Like, like he is like lived in a treehouse that only had power because he ran a bucket up and down with his own human waste. Like, well, and, like he was like, like that level of fucking commitment. Uh, th there's a documentary called uh, who killed the electric car. And the opening scene is meant to be played for laughs in which you see, they have a funeral for the, for the Ford EV one. And you see Ed Begley jr. Unironically, crying yeah. as they bury this car and uh, 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 uh so i i found it very curious that 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 we've kept in touch and then um uh he sent me his memoir and i'm halfway through it how is it uh everybody did cocaine and quaaludes <laughs> <laughs> it was it's amazing ed begley jr uh, uh yes did uh, cocaine and Quaaludes? Yes. Yes. I uh, guess the, I guess he's included in everyone. Also got arrested <laughs> for impersonating a police officer because he was doing a comedy bit with Michael Richards. Uh, uh, he was dressed as a cop. Yeah. And then it was just walking in a cop uniform because where do you get a cop uniform? You go to the cop store and you buy a cop yeah, uniform. Yeah, take one off of a cop. And, yeah. and <laughs> so for three <laughs> days, <laughs> he did time in the clink for having impersonated a, a, a police officer. Uh, With Michael Richards. Uh, 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 this was separate from that. Uh, okay. uh, but but uh, uh, this Michael book Richards was working on a new bit. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't gotten that far yet, <laughs> but this dude knew everybody, and he's he's just casually talking about, yeah, so I was doing cocaine with Jack Nicholson and all that stuff. Uh, all of this. Uh, Is the book available? Uh, I, 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 I believe it's available. Uh, Can we check? What is the name of the book? No. Uh, to the Temple of Tranquility and Step on It. And uh, basically. It's been it's out for one week. Great. Uh, Grab it now. Get it. Highly, highly recommended. Like I have not been able to put it down. I've read half of it today. I can't wait to read read the rest of it. Um, uh, uh, what what a curious, fascinating character he is because he's second generation Hollywood, and uh, he talks about how he made the mistake of having three movies that didn't make money, and he went to Hollywood jail for for all of the '90s. And it was it was he was a more dramatic actor. And then, like, I know him as part of the vanguard of comedy, especially improv comedy, that came up through Christopher Guest. Christopher Guest uh, yeah. is the one who led him out of Hollywood jail. And so he did He did all of those. And then he, of course, did Arrested Development. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful book. Uh, and uh, anyway, it's, it's, it's really cool to... Uh, I, I, I don't know how we're friends, but we're friends. Also, wait a minute. People are just pointing this out. <laughs> can we can we get a side by side here? This is because the 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 uh, book cover is a young, uh, very handsome Ed Begley Jr. Can we just get a side by side <laughs> Ed Begley Jr. I, and Brian? Uh, I, I mean, it. like it's a little extra Owen Wilson, but I see it. Take the glasses off. Yeah, go ahead. Take the glasses off. 
Oh, that's and, and take the hat off. Let the, flow the hair out. Oh, yeah. A Give bit. us a shag. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. oh look at that guy. Jesus. Oh, Let's turn the oh. book around. On the other side is. is... <laughs> no. <we don't. laughs> uh, no, it's a uh, uh, it's a trip, man. It's 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 one of those um, those old Hollywood books where it's just like pure honesty. It's like, so anyway, I ran into this guy, and I was... Well, look, uh, uh, I know you're really, really good friends with him, and so we will not uh, uh, put put, put the squeeze on you, but uh, Ed, you plugged your book. Come on the show. There we go. Oh, he he definitely will. Come on the show. That's right. Yeah. All right. Come on down to Austin. Come on the show. Let's have Ed Begley Jr. That'd be a fun time. Uh, Hey, Brian. How can we afford to bring him down? Well, we uh, need the help of humans. Humans with money. Friends, Earth. It's a planet. It swirls around the sun. And the only way that the denizens of Earth can continue to make podcasts is if you go to patreon.com slash great night. It's the only way? Only way. Over 40,000 years ago, Earth said podcasts, maybe in about 39,000 years (laughs) and 950, they'll be ready. And Lord, were they bursting forth from the crust of the hot magma, podcasting became of religion to many and tithing happens through patreon.com slash great night yes when you give to patreon.com slash great night you know that you're giving to a good cause so the cause of podcasting yes brian will get money yes i'll get money yes price will be promised money (laughs) So will Brett. <laughs> will they get it? The only way to know is to give to patreon.com slash great nine. But lo, the cherubs blew their trumpets. You get more for your gift. Indeed, yes. you get a bonus episode that happens each and every Thursday. Exclusive. Sometimes they happen at my house. Sometimes they're in HQ. Yes. But every time they happen, they're great. If you like this show, <laughs> you'll love it. If you hate this show, you'll, love you'll it. probably love it more than you like this show. It's a better episode. Do it now. Patreon.com slash Patreon.com Patreon.com slash great night great night great night great night great night let's go on a superior flight with great night powered by your money you will see the sun Everything you'll see will be more fun. Great night. Oh, no. <laughs> are we, are we going to keep going? Or? It'll be you. Uh, hey. Sounds like somebody called it. <laughs> <laughs> I called it. Patreon.com slash great night. Thank you, everybody, for supporting us. Ah. Hey, Bryce, we got a game. Hey, we do have a game today. This was sent in by Aussie Rob. Thank you, Aussie Rob. Aussie writes, I'm a longtime watcher from back in the BB Live show days. Aussie and a, Rawr. And a Patreon supporter. Here's a game I created. Uh, this is a game I, Bryce, am calling My Little Amazon Seller Can't Be This Anime. Oh, where's my sounder? Oh, I had a sounder. <laughs> Fuck, Bryce. <laughs> there you go. All right. <laughs> Aussie Rob has found that uh, 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 in, anim- that in, in animes, they try to uh, make names that sound like they would be western names but they uh don't they they're, fuck up they're jib- they're kind of gibberish they don't know shit these anime people 
Well, it turns out they that don't know nothing. They know nothing. They ain't got no sense. The anime folks. They Their think- eyes are always so oh. big. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So, uh, so, uh, and also the same thing happens with uh, dropshipper, dropshipper people on Amazon. They just make up a fake. What name. do you think the common denominator is? Hmm. <laughs> I think it's going to be Amazon.com. So I'm going to give you a name. You're going to tell me if it's an anime or if it's an Amazon seller. Easy game. Yeah. I think. Brett, uh, would you like to play? You know, oh. I do know all things about anime and Amazon drop shipping. Definitely about drop shipping because uh, he is because he is a hype beast grind core legend. Absolutely, uh, but no. Oh, oh, good. Keeping it fair. Keep it fair. I just Keep win. it safe. I just win. Yeah, I don't know. Part of me wants to think that maybe we could team up. Take him on. Nope. No, we got it. We're going to go head to head. All right. All right. Like bird and magic. <laughs> bird and magic. Mm-hmm. The world's greatest crime solving duo. Yep. <laughs> Always this fall on TNT. <laughs> <laughs> it's bird and magic. Listen up, bird. <laughs> I, What's your name? Wait, no, wait. All right. So I'm. I'm, 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 I'm I just called you no, bird. No, I know. I know. Yeah. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm Evander Bird. <laughs> You're Evander? Evander? <laughs> Yeah, Evander and you Bird. are, and you are. It's Leslie Magic. Leslie Magic. <laughs> no, no, no. Magic has to be your first name because they can't be both last names. It's Magic Leslie. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Evander Bird, listen up. I'm, I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> I made my living blowing up balloons until the police force <laughs> drafted me. And well, now I'm ready to get back to making uh, uh, balloon dogs for kids. I'm sorry. We're going to need you for one more case. <sighs> Fuck. This better not get me into a three to five season commitment. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's find out. Sarge. Hey, what's up? Oh, no, I can't do that voice the whole time. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm going to give you a name. You tell me if it's anime or Amazon. Justin, we're going to start with you first on yeah. this one. The name is Bum 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 Superd. <laughs> or Super D. You want to know what? We we should also add in the, up, next time, the next time we play this game, hmm. uh, uh, rapper. Oh, rapper name. That would be yeah. Because cool. Super D would they're be getting a solid weird. One. They're getting weird these days. <laughs> Uh, uh, I believe Super D or Superd is an anime name. All right. An anime. Anime. I'm going to put a little uh, accent. I'm sorry. I like to be respectful. Anime. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a I guy. like to, uh, excuse me, friend, if you subscribe to Crunchyroll to watch the anime. <laughs> <laughs> this is 100% an Amazon brand. Mm-hmm. Why yeah. do you think so? Is uh, it Super D? Well, let me just show you what brand socks I'm wearing. Okay. <laughs> They're Hanes. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> All right. Justin is going to say anime. 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 And Brian's going to say Amazon. Superd is an anime. Hey! What is this about? It is, is, a, it is a, a demon race from the show Jobless Reincarnation. Doi. <laughs> Duh. Uh, Brett, do you know absolutely anything about that? About this uh, anime? I know there's a lot of reincarnation uh, shows. I can yeah. definitely tell you that. Most likely, it would. I would say it's probably on cr- Crunchyroll. I will say this. That the answer to all of that question to Brett is either I did it or I would like to be hired for the next redub. <laughs> <laughs> He's available. All right, that's a point to Justin. Hey. Brian, we're going to start with you on this one. Ready? The name, Bizawanst. Oh, shit. A brand you can trust. B E Z E W A N S T. Bezawanst. Oh, fuck, bro, you got the new Bezawanst? <laughs> yeah, man. How else did you think these uh, sausages got so roasted? Damn. I, I, 
I've been wanting a busy one since I was a boy. Well, uh, too bad it's an anime character. <laughs> anime. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Ryan's going to say Arname. Justin? As a wants. Bezzy wants. No, this is this is a drop shipper. This is, you know, it's like bezel, but you wants it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, damn, that bezel's so fun. I wants it so bad. Again, if it was Drake featuring 21 Savage and Bezel wants, I would definitely be guessing rapper. <laughs> All right, we got your answers here. Brian said anime, Justin said Amazon. It is. It's an anime. Hey! That is a high bishop character in the show Ascendance of a Bookworm. I mean, he yep. just reeks of high bishop Class. You want to know what? Now that we've heard it, I should have thought high bishop. Not a low bishop, mm -mm. not a middle bishop. I did the voice of the but, high uh, bishop. Hi, Bishop. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm a fucking Bishop. Oh, we're gonna uh, did you know that Cheech and Chong has legal gummies? We should talk about It's a Twitter bottom. joke. They're buying a lot of ads. Bezza <laughs> Watt's not here, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's a point to Brian. Yeah. Woo. Did you do that one? Yep. I was, I was the high bishop. Man. Bullshit. I was totally the high bishop. For real? Yep. Are you lying? Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's some things you can't lie about. Like I okay. Because that's a real thing. Like, like sure. You, yeah. Like, like you could have been best of odds. You could, you could actually watch my face. And if one of those comes up that I recognize, you'll know. You'll be like, oh. Oh, he was. I won't know you're a professional actor. I'm not that good. Yes, you are. <laughs> hey, don't run yourself down. Oh, sorry. It's man. getting cold, and I want to bring the warmth. Thank you. Can I put my feet on your calves? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. No problem, babe. Uh. uh <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go sleep in the other room. <laughs> right, I, yeah, they're doing their own show over there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, it's time for round three. Justin, we're going to start with you on this one. <laughs> <laughs> the name is Lemorelli. L E M O R E L E. Lemorella. This actually sounds like a single from an alt rock band. <laughs> Lemorelli. Uh, Looks uh, so fine, but she could want to be mine. Lemorelli. <laughs> uh. I think that Lemorelli, we got to get an Amazon one here. I think this is like bath mats or Q-tips or something that women buy. Lemorelli. There we go. Lock it in. Women famous for their bath mats and their Q-tips. <laughs> Tell me when I'm telling lies. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to go full anime. Oh yeah, what well, anime? Wait, no, no, but all right, here. I said the genre of people that this Amazon seller was trying to sell to. If you want to pick anime, you got to tell me the character that Lemorelli is. Oh, uh, Lemorelli is a, uh, a, 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 a she's a dancer. Mm-hmm. Very citrusy. Okay. <laughs> like how citrusy? How how would you describe a woman as citrusy? Covered in a chitinous yellow skin. Okay. And she could squeeze it in lemon zest, oil. Zest comes out. <laughs> comes out, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's So lemonella. she's an anthropomorphic lemon. Yep. Okay. Or possibly just an actual lemon. <laughs> just a regular lemon with lady legs and hands? Uh, How and does it big dance? eyelashes? Like Sailor Moon, but fruit. Yeah, I, I I I I would like to believe uh, kind of a spider. Okay, we're introducing more things. So a spider lemon woman, a spider lemon woman. Yeah, who uh, loves dancing. Went, loves to dancing. Went to college, but it wasn't for her. <laughs> Just working her way. Yeah. through the world, making her way down. Squeezing downtown, that zest. Walking fast. That zest uh, is the best. It just shoots all over. The man's chest. <laughs> she rhymes. 
Well, okay. Let's see who wins. Sure. <laughs> All right. Justin has said an Amazon. Brian has said anime. Lemorel is. That's an Amazon. Oh. They sell USB C hubs. For women. Hubs. For women. For women. For women. For women. For women. Rose gold. All yep. of them are rose gold. Exactly. Ooh, oh, I want that. And they say live, laugh, love. <laughs> Brett, after three rounds, what is the score? I am so proud of both of you. Thank you. Yo, both of you have got on the board. Yep. We're just rocking along. Brian, you only have one point, but Justin has two. But Brian, I believe in you. There's belief. That's right. That's right. Just squirting my zest. Oh. He is. He is he's squirting his zest. Very you want to try to call that dominoes again? I try. Can't find them. Somebody right. put it in there. Somebody, I think it's, it's, it's zero double one and then the number. Yeah, I did that. Uh, you did? Yeah. You, and it didn't work? No. 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 Fucking assholes. Yeah. All right, let's go to our fourth question. We're going to start with Brian on this one. I feel like it's Ready? Like end with us calling. Brian, the name is Yin Crow. Oh! Yin Crow. Yin Crow. Y I N C R O. Yin Crow. That's got to be. Incro! That's what I hear when I, I, see, I see it. What's funny is when you say it that way, I don't know if it makes it more of a character from an anime or more of a brand. Yeah. Like, uh, it's like, uh, well, who brings know. you the best in Domino's? Incro! <laughs> yeah. No, I'm going to go Amazon. Uh, uh, who left the dog out? Incro! <laughs> Somebody yeah. in an anime about a dog. That works. All right. The Justin. leaving of the dog outside or whatever fucking anime shit people fucking <laughs> eat up. You know, it's a long game here. Just <laughs> keep some in the boosters. Yin Crow, Justin. Yin Crow is an anime person. An anime. <laughs> an anime. What type Eddie, of Eddie, you treat me like anime. <laughs> what is what is the what is the character Yin or Crow is a mischievous little pup who uh, gets into quite a big mess when he eats the tie of a Yakuza boss who <laughs> happens to be a dragon. Oh, <laughs> sure. I would watch that. Yep. I would watch that. Yep. Yin Crow! Dot com. Uh, <laughs> You said, uh, Justin said anime, Brian said Amazon. Yin Crow is Amazon! Yay! Yay! Another point for me, because I'm better than you. Everybody knows it. Just ask Yin Crow. What is the shop price? Uh, they sell women's clothing. For women. For women. Mm -hmm. For women. For women. For women. All yeah. right, round five. We're going to go to Justin first. Justin, your name, Thule, T-U-U-L-I, Thule. Thule, huh? Well, Thule's easy, right? We all know Thule. We've all... Uh, Wearing dark glasses. Uh, been the perusing corner. the menu of anime place. <laughs> That's where the real An heads anime go. Anime Junction. No, yeah, not Crunchyroll or Netflix or whatever. No, no, no. Anime the place. The real heads go to Anime Place. <laughs> Ani sorry, Anime Place. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, uh, they know that Thule is the best friend of a sentient orchid <laughs> that turns into a real boy and makes friends with a headmistress of a very stern school that is run by Dracula. Again, I would Tooley. watch this. I Someone get this man a development Tooley. deal. Man. Anime legend. Brian Brushwood. Thule. Uh, you're so close, Justin. Uh-huh. We all know it's a six-legged, four-wheeled robot sidekick. In an anime. Oh, I thought it was on Amazon. Nope. 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 So it has six. Does that mean that it has six? It has eight wheels on each of its six legs? Or are these discrete? 
pieces of the... It has two extraneous legs. But they're not even part of the six. Uh, no. Nope. Six legs, four wheels. I think I was pretty clear. Six legs, okay. two of them just for laughs. <laughs> All right. Here you we need go. two legs to clap. Yeah. So the wheels are going, <laughs> Bryce. So the wheels are oh, going. Oh, he loves to clap. And then and then imagine the legs just going. <laughs> just waving above it, uh, above its head like Kermit's fucking arms. This guy, too, at least. Yeah. Yep. All right. We got your answer here. Both of you said anime. The answer is. It's an anime. Hey. hey! That is the sister of the protagonist in Ascendance of a Bookworm. This is the second one we've yeah, done how, from how many? How many legs does Julia have? Um, how many legs does the bookworm has? <laughs> I'm going to look. Tuli anime. Uh, it looks like she is a human who has, uh, I'm going to say, two legs. Boring. Give how me many wheels? Deal. Crunchy roll. I'm here. <laughs> Phone works. Waiting for a ring a ding ding. <laughs> who? I can't tell who becomes the bookworm. Okay, uh, that's a point for both. Probably of them. the one levitating. <laughs> Brett, after uh, five rounds, what are the scores, guys? You're doing fantastic. Hey, y'all are both all tied up like brothers. Yep, three to three. Good I ain't never had God give me a hug before. This I know, is great. You're being nice. Don't push it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's so for number six. We're going to start with Brian on this one. Brian. Ready. Sungait. S U N G A I T. Sungait? Sungait? Sungaitu. This is the classic Amazon costume company, Sungate. If you've ever wanted to look like a bright, shining star. Yeah. On a budget, yeah. <laughs> via Amazon, mm -hmm. turn to Sungate. You'll walk with confidence as the sun is your companion. Sungate, hooray! <laughs> Sungate, hooray! Always love it, Justin. Fuck it, this guy <laughs> doesn't know the true classics. The true anime classics. No way. Yeah. No way. This guy doesn't even know the classic tale of Soongate. Mm -hmm. A frustrated adolescent schoolboy who is very much smitten with his busty classmate, <laughs> but trying desperately to keep his secret. That he is indeed a small ferret. <laughs> Soongate, tale of a horny ferret <laughs> available on Crunchyroll <laughs> right now. Bryce, if you're able to find any music in a pentatonic scale, I would like to play act this scenario. Okay, pent pentatonic is for more than just Asian sound, the Asian yep. jingle. <laughs> the five notes, that's... Uh... How well, you're going to have to do something for 30 seconds. How but... racist do you want to go? <laughs> oh, zero. All the way? Ten? No, I want to be accurate to anime. Okay, but you have to understand the racism scale goes... <laughs> you went ten. <laughs> You Thanks. asked for it. Uh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> get, gather round, children. No, come on. You wanted to do the anime. Do the anime. What? Well, uh, 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 do an anime voice. Uh, Brett, show him how to do an anime voice. Yeah. Uh, anime voice? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, all right, so you were a small ferret. <laughs> You are really into your uh, uh, busty uh, yeah. uh, uh, school member. Sure. No, yeah, I got this. I got yeah. this. All right. Okay. All right. Hey, how's it going there, little ferret with the big busty? My name is Sungate. Hey. Chitter, 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 chitter. <laughs> no, That's you are. That's right. No, no, no. I Sungate like... talks. Yeah. Oh. Ha. <laughs> chitter, chitter, chitter. <laughs> Sorry, lady. <laughs> Listen, I used to be a salary man, but now I've been reincarnated as this ferret. 
This is exactly how I thought it would be. <laughs> Listen, I want to take down big establishments. Let's say we do a con against the principal. We can definitely do that, but we have to use our heart. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay over here. Pretend to ride over your bicycle right as this. Excuse me, oh. coming through. I have big tits. Oh, wobble, 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 nosebleed. wobble, wobble. Nosebleed, nosebleed. I didn't. And see. Okay. All right. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was probably for the best. <laughs> All right, uh, we were talking about Sungate. <laughs> Remember that? He Sungate is. And that's an Amazon. Yeah. Should have known. Yeah. Should have known. They sell sunglasses. Sun gates. Sun gates. Makes sense. Gates. Gates. Sun. Yeah. Is it a sunglass? Yeah. It is. Okay. It is a point for Brian as well. Yeah. Uh, before we go to it's our... the person that vacates the sun speaker of the house. <laughs> uh, Too soon. Uh, Too soon. Too soon. All right. Before Too we go to sun. Too sun. Too sun. <laughs> Too sun. Too sun. Oh, no. Madam Two Sons. <laughs> All right. After <laughs> before we get to our final round, Brett, what are the fine wax warehouse, <laughs> Madam Two Sons? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Just right. One I step mean, too far, <laughs> Madam Two Sons, a great anime. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite thing, <laughs> thing that's happening right now is every time he says anime, he does the hand gesture. <laughs> I do a, a grand sweep. <laughs> anime. Hello, and welcome to the world of anime. <laughs> I just really want to do a like like Walt Disney uh, uh, Presents-esque <laughs> show is. where I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm just making up <laughs> animes. And go, welcome to the world of anime. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time for our final round. Before we do that, Brett, quickly, what are the scores? The quick score is Brian has four points. Justin has three points. There we go. It's still anybody's game. Anybody's game. Anybody. Is, it's still anybody's game. This is a three point round. Anybody. <laughs> you beat me to it. <laughs> That's good. You know what? That's good. Yep. Hey, buddy, you, you got one. You got one. All right, it's time for our final one here. Uh, and because he's in the lead, is that right? Because yeah. he's in the lead, Brian's going to go first on this one. Go. You got it. Your name is... Gedulda. G-E-D-U-L-D-H. Gedulda. Don't get this one wrong, fuck him. <laughs> Big pressure. Sizzling. Ha. That's what you're feeling right now. Tension. Surface do, tension. Do, 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 do. Ever since you destroyed my family, all of the Gadolds have wanted to destroy you, which is why we all formed an alliance and created Gadold Inc., an <laughs> Amazon company. <laughs> we are here to bring you the finest in anime figures. Amazon. All right, mm -hmm. Brian's going to say Gedulda is Amazon. Justin, Gedulda. Born in 3005. <laughs> Gedold is a robot. <laughs> but in this anime world, <laughs> robots are people, and people are animals. What? And animals are Pots and pans. <laughs> this is a high concept world sure. where Gadold realizes that they should not be using dogs as saucers. <laughs> That's the first three seasons, but it gets fucking really good after that. <laughs> Gadold anime. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> you know, you know that story about Pixar where they had one meeting one day and they came up with all of the ideas for like their huge hits. <laughs> I don't think this is ours. <laughs> <laughs> this is the opposite of that. This is the opposite. All right, Gadolda, this is for three points. Brian said Amazon. Justin said anime. Justin, 
I'm going to take your answer and I'm going to throw it into the answer hole. That's correct! Anime! 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 Congrats on your one point, my friend. What was the, uh, uh... What, what, what was it in? Uh, she is an earth goddess in the show Ascendance of a Bookworm. All I had to do one anime. We would have gotten all these. <laughs> two. Maybe two. Uh, there we go. Uh, Brett, what's the score after the game? Let's score. Brian has four points, but Justin has six points. Congratulations yeah. to Justin. Yeah. The winner. Yeah. Wait, did, did you win fair and square? Yeah. Yeah. He that's weird. Yeah. With my skills and your knowledge of anime. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm a big anime fan. You know, a lot of people say, yep. why are you so into it? But I was into anime back in the 90s. You oh. know, a lot of people didn't know it then. But now, you know, all the kids are into anime. And back I'm, when they called it Jap anime. Yeah. Well, I mean, for fucking Taurus, that's what they called it. Yeah. But me, right. I knew from the jump back in the 90s <laughs> that anime was <laughs> the best you know it's a pure form of entertainment yeah a lot of people you know like they just look at anime and they see a lot of pictures and stuff like that but i don't see it like that i see it as as story but wait <laughs> more story Okay. A pure. What I like to see in anime is the the ability to tell a story. Yeah. Which you don't get a lot. Wait, wait. I I agree because in your Western media, gross Western, disgusting, base level. Oh. oh right. Well, yeah. You ever go to the movie theater and you're just like. Oh. I wish I was watching anime because that's what I've been saying since the nineties. Uh, I I watched anime in the nineties. We're that's talking what about I really all wanted. Western storytelling, right? Mm -hmm. now. All's like, quiet like on the Western front. Yeah, Star well, Trek. That's what. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. George Lucas. Because I mean, like, like, is that as good as a classic anime? Like. A bloom on the rose. Uh, yeah, bloom! Your, uh, of your bookworm. Like, have you ever seen that? <laughs> a bloom. It was really, really good in the original manga. Uh, <laughs> but when, 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 when the anime, when the anime came out, for those who really, really knew, because I, could you have to trace it back? Right Trace. to the first, the first uh, 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 beginnings of this genre, of course. Which uh, 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 shields for swords? Shields for swords. Please, ma'am. Please, ma'am. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. that was Onegashimasu. Course, that was a great. That was a great anime. That really set the tone for the rest of the genre. But, but, but it's so in the nineties. Right. In the nineties. The nineties. In the nineties. It sounds like you're fairly divided on the fact that No. Oh. What am I divided on? Well, I I, I it sounds like you're decided. Yes, on the I'm fact decided. That, that yes. Anime is superior. Uh, sorry. Anime. Anime. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but but when you look at the Western arts, like uh, yes. let's say the, the, the Marvel series from the <sighs> Silver Age on four. <sighs> oh. Oh. Not a fan. Why not, not a fan. Why not? Well, mostly because if you're going to compare it to the manga. Right. Okay. Which I think is just richer. Yeah. It's just richer. Okay. You know, when you, when you, when you read a story, you just... 
fall into it. You just I'll, I'll, you I'll just you know what. that you're you're well taken care of. There's a manga. There is an anime. There's there's just so much, and it connects culturally. I, See, I don't feel like I connect to Western culture. I feel that I connect more to the manga and right. the anime from okay. the '90s that. Like, 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 I, like, you go and you see, let's say, a Iron Man and uh, um, <laughs> right. a, 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 a Hulk, and uh, <laughs> and and I, I don't see myself in them. But when I read the original Mainga of a uh, 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 vampire, why now? Uh, <laughs> And then I watch the anime. I'm like, like this is me. This is me. I'm Jibuli. I'm uh, Haiko. Ha <laughs> which is what it was in the original Mayinga. All right. So, 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 so. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe I can mention some of our poor imitation Western yeah. stories, mm -hmm. and you can, which I don't connect to. Correct. And you, I don't connect you to. You can tell us the superior original no. anime. No, 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 of, yeah. Uh, and Mayingas. I picked up these Mayingas okay. at a Barnes & Noble in oh, the 90s. All right. <laughs> so let, let, let's start with that. I'm an OG. Tell us about the original version of Mr. Fantastic. Okay, so Mr. Fiantistic. Uh... <laughs> Fantastic son, as he was known. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, there's a lot of controversy. Oh, really? About Mr. Fiantistic. Because <laughs> uh, uh, in the Western world, mm. he is known as a great scientist and yeah. entrepreneur in New York, can stretch. But many believe, I believe, because I read Mainga in the 90s, right. that there was a direct ripoff from the story uh uh oops my wife <laughs> about a very studious man who went to space yes with his big titted wife <laughs> and his Jew friend <laughs> It was a different time back then. Yeah. It was the 90s. <laughs> you could say that stuff in the 90s. Yep. We're, we're, you know yeah. what? Maybe we move and on. <laughs> uh, what, 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 uh, what about the, uh, the documentary of Dr. Doom? What, what was the original superior version? Well, I mean, if you're going to just keep bringing up controversial subjects, then we could just keep talking about them. But obviously, the anime... Uh, 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 oh no, face broke. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. Where a man accidentally looks into a bowl of ramen and it burns his face, and so he has to wear the bowl on his head because he needs to go to prom. Like many people believe that that anime from the 90s inspired Dr. Doom. Right. But, but, yeah. but, but what about uh, more classic archetypes like Kingpin? <laughs> But the thing about the original anime, <laughs> I can't believe you're still doing this bit, <laughs> Justin. I, I cannot believe it. Kingpin was originally the character was scraping the bottom of the bowl. He <laughs> <laughs> had to get the residue. Uh, so, in the original manga, uh, uh. There is a, a and and the 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 original manga called uh uh uh, uh Roly Poly New York. <laughs> uh there is a character for whom is very square round in the manga. Of course they made him square. Uh typical western bullshit. Uh but he has a cane and he finds Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> in the anime. Okay. Which was made from the Mayinga. Right. I believe we've wrung everything out of this. What about the Daredevil? Guess not. <laughs> <laughs> if you well, have a game. I guess I. Uh, Justin had a stroke and died. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> 
If you have a game, please send it into our email address, greatnightpod at gmail.com. Thank you to Aussie Rob for this one. Check the show notes if you forgot what that email address is. Thank you. By the way, uh, somebody in the chat said, Why I hope you go so far away because I'm scared of you now. <laughs> Why? Uh, no, uh, somebody in the chat was like, uh, ask about Watchmen. I'm like, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, I could have actually fucking gone for a half hour on that. Yeah. Uh, uh, can we call Domino's? Now we'll do it in the after show. Hey, Bryce. Yeah. Hi. Uh, uh, hi. Hi. Brett, what have we learned? <laughs> well, first of all, after hearing all of that, I didn't realize that you were at about six years of my convention uh, uh, experience. It's been a great night. All you needed was a little more well actually. So that would have uh, been amazing. Uh, I've also, we've also learned that Australians wrestle with their R's. Oh. Uh, and we also learned that uh, annular eclipses are not as sexy as I thought. No. No. Yeah. Uh, but... Maybe you can get one on your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to top that. Nope. <laughs> uh, except unless it's his birthday. <laughs> Shine on, you crazy diamonds. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> you walk away. Slamming my fingers in a door repeatedly. I didn't even get to the beyonder. Oh. You keep me alive. You help me survive. No, there's never been a greater night, a single bed, a later night, a pause, the masturbation night, a let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never been a greater, greater night.